Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to the ESA Web TV coverage of the 52nd Paris Air and Space Show. The Paris Air Show is the place to be, the moment you can't miss. It's the place where the latest news on aerospace and aeronautics is presented to everyone. There's hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people coming over during an entire week. And that's where we also can meet with the whole space industry. So this is really important every second year to come around here and this is the reason why ESA has this prominent place and also this large investment of being here to talk to the people. French President Emmanuel Macron stopped by the ESA pavilion where he met with ESA's Director General Jan Werner and the French astronaut Thomas Pesquet. They were also joined by the President of the French Space Agency Jean-Yves Ledal. During the encounter, Thomas presented the president with a photograph of Paris he took while on mission to the International Space Station. Thomas returned from his six-month mission just over two weeks ago. I miss the most probably the freedom to be able to do whatever you want on a weekend, to walk around and just, you know, not, not go back and forth like sometimes a, a line in a cage like we do on the space station, always the same, the same, uh, the same translations. So that's what I missed the most. So I went out uh, in the outdoors and tried to take in a little bit of nature and it felt good. Thomas was joined by former astronaut Claudie Enouret, who had been to the International Space Station in 2001. They discussed the advances in technology on the ISS, as well as the importance of scientific experiments in space. As a rheumatologist, Claudie has a particular interest in experiments with muscle and bone. Astronauts continue to work on this research back on Earth. For some of them, mostly physiology, medicine, you're the guinea pig for the scientists. You're not only you know, the, the, the hands and the, and the eyes of the scientists, you're also the, the subject of the experiment yourself. So I have to provide them with all kinds of samples when I'm back on Earth. You know, blood sample, I've had a muscle biopsy, uh, hair, they test my balance, they test me um, in every condition so that they can have a complete data set and, and uh, conclude on you know, the trip to space. This is Thomas before, during trip to space and after a trip to space, and then they'll have their results. The opening day wrapped up with a presentation of ESA's current and future activities by a panel of directors. They discussed ESA's plans to push the frontiers of science, technology and exploration. They touched on advances being made in providing 5G data service, the future of the Galileo navigation system, and the development of new technologies to reduce space debris. These Agora talks uh, are a possibility and an opportunity to discuss with a broader uh, public about different things. Space is inspiring, as it, all of it is inspiring, but of course exploration is something where we really see that we can realize dreams. So we are dreaming and then we are realizing, but also the other programs, uh, telecommunication with quantum entanglement or whether we look to uh, navigation, the next generation of Galileo satellites. So all of these are inspiring, but of course exploration is, might be that one where we really think that dreams can be realized. The Paris Air Show is the place to be this week for the space and aviation enthusiast, who will surely find like-minded people around every corner. Everything is possible. We're, we're lucky enough to live in Europe, um, you know, where everything is possible and life is good, generally speaking. I know there are problems, but life is good. And, and you can achieve your dreams, but nothing is going to be easy. Uh, being a doctor is not easy, being a teacher is not easy, being a pilot is not easy. Um, but that shouldn't stop you. You should try and do your best. Everything is doable, everything is possible, but nothing is easy. We will continue to bring you the highlights of ESA at the Paris Air and Space Show this week, so keep an eye on our website or join in the conversation on social media with the hashtag SpaceBouget17. Thanks for watching. <laughs>